So we've learned some uh, rules for taking antiderivatives, similar to when we learned rules for taking derivatives. And let's, let's review some of them. So we learned the power rule for antiderivatives. We learned how to take the antiderivative of a constant. We figured out how the antiderivative of cosine is just sine, sine x plus c, of course. Now let's continue. What's the antiderivative of sine? Well, what do you have to take the derivative of to get sine? You have to take the derivative of negative cosine. And, and think about that. The derivative of cosine is negative sine. So we have to multiply by a negative in order to get this to be positive sine. Um, and, and if that's a little bit confusing, why don't we just go through that real quick. So the derivative of negative cosine x plus c, well, this is equal to negative 1 times the derivative of cosine. So this is negative 1. I'm going to factor that negative 1 out times the derivative of cosine, which is negative sine. And then the c just becomes a 0. So we took this is this this is the derivative of cosine and then I factor that negative 1 out. I pulled that out of the derivative. And so we can see this this is of course equal to positive sine. So when we take the antiderivative of positive sine, we get negative cosine plus c. Okay. I think you've got that. Um, how about some other ones? I think we looked at the antiderivative of e to the x. And this is just e to the x plus c. Um, and how about uh, one more interesting one, which is the antiderivative of 1 over x. Now, why is this one interesting? Well, notice we can't use the power rule. If we did, we'd have, you know, this is x to the negative 1. If, uh, and if we use the antiderivative power rule, we would get x to the 0 over 0 plus c. And we can't divide by 0, of course, so, so that doesn't work. That's not going to work. What it turns out to be, do you remember whose derivative is 1 over x? Well, it turns out it's the natural log of x plus c. The derivative of the natural log is 1 over x. So the antiderivative of 1 over x is the natural log. So these are six basic uh, antiderivative rules or, or just common antiderivatives to know that will get you through um, most of what you're going to do in, in Calc 1 if you're in college taking Calc 1 or first semester calculus. This will get you through most of it, if not all of it, in terms of antiderivatives. Later on, we'll learn uh, other rules that correspond to things like the product rule and the chain rule. So those are more advanced uh, integration techniques or, or techniques for finding antiderivatives. And those things won't come until later. So for now, you're safe with this list of six, and uh, we'll move on from there. Okay, see you in the next video.